Hello. <clears throat> On this video, we're going to talk about linear approximations. And we're going to take an example out of, out of the book, out of a book, where we find the linear approximation to the function f of x equals square root of x. And so what it means is we're going to find an equation which is a line, or we're going to find a function which is a line, and uh, it'll approximate this square root function. And it's near, around x equals 9, it's the best linear approximation. So, um, okay. So we have a formula for linear approximations, which we're going to use. And it could be a good idea to memorize this formula. So our formula that we use is L of X, L for line, equals F of A plus F prime at A times X minus A. All right, so F is this function square root of X. A is the number given, here we have x equals 9. Well, that's supposed to be A. And so, given this formula, we can just plug everything in. I think we should go ahead and do that, and then I'll try to explain a bit more about the meaning of this, or, you know, or you know what is that formula. But quickly, the formula is, is the equation of the tangent line to the function at, at x equals 9, or A equals 9. Okay. So let's just fill in the blanks here. So f of x is the square root of x. Um, and in some situations, that's a good way to write it. Different cases, you might want to write it as x to the 1 half, especially when you're doing the derivative. When we, for the derivative, some people have a little table where they or a little formula cheat sheet or something. But let's go ahead and do this. It's pretty elementary, really, but anyway, so you, this is the power rule, so you take the one half and you bring it to the front, and then the power is found, you know, as the derivative, you take a half and you subtract one. One half minus one is negative one half. So this become this is equal to one over two rad x. So then we also have that... Um, Maybe I'll write up here, A is equal to 9. And so F of A would be F of 9, or is F of 9. I sort of, my 9s and my A looks sort of similar, but oh well. Okay, so that's square root of 9. And then F prime of 9 is equal to 1 over 2 square root of 9. So that's 1 over 2 times 3, and that's 1 6. So I am simply, at this point, looking at a formula that, that I have, and I'm just filling in the blanks and saying, okay, let's find f of a, f prime of a, and, and those things. So good to go then, right? So I have um, L of x equals f of a. Well, f of a is over here. You could make little dots, like a little snail or someone going along. Right there, I'll just put that there. That has no math meaning, it means just look over here. Plus, see, okay, so I'm, start, I'm using this formula. So I have f of a, okay. And then I have, let's see, uh, Next thing is f prime of a, so I'll put one six little dots there or not, and then x minus a, so it's x minus nine. Now, this is the equation of a line. Traditionally, though, we do not write this in a y equals mx plus b form, we actually uh, like keeping it this way. And now I am going to confuse things? I hope not, but maybe. 
by explaining what the heck is this. Okay, so I'm going to sketch a graph of the function f of x equals the square root of x, which I think we can figure out. Oh, hopefully. Um, okay, so this is f of x equals the square root of x. And I'm going to move this. All right, now, um, if I count it right, this point here is 9, 3. So, you know, if I put in 9 and for x, the square root of 9 is 3. And what, the, what this linear approximation is, is it's simply a tangent line. That's all it is. So that's one of our things that we do in calculus is find the equation of a tangent line. And here we're given a formula for the equation of the tangent line. So you just you put everything in. Of course, we know, well, we should know from, you know from what we learned before in calculus that the slope of the tangent line is equal to the derivative value at that point, that point being 9 here, or the, the x value 9. And let me... Um, try to even get this actually correct by by uh, making the slope actually 1, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so if I do it the way I'm drawing it, maybe if I, if I want to get it right, I mean, why not? Why would I want it wrong? Except maybe it's going to take too much time to do this, but okay. So that's you know, that's it. All right. Now, what's, what's the deal? Who cares? Well, so the linear approximation is saying that the line and the curve are pretty close to each other. As we can see, especially if you get close to 9, 3, they, they, in this hand-drawn you know, graph, they're, they look the same. So the idea is that if we zoom in far enough, they're they look this, the line and the and the and the function, the curve, given by the function look the same. Now, it a little bit is because it, at this point nine three the, the the function really sort of flattens out a bit. Um, but if you had if you're doing this over here, well, your tangent line would still approximate the curve, but you might have to zoom in more to get a good approximation. And, and the thing is also on this is we're not saying how good the approximation is, but you can see there is an approximation. And the closer x is to 9, the better this approximation is. Now, what we're going to do is go on to the next part, which I didn't show you before, but it's part B. Use it to approximate the square root of 9.1. You know, this is very uh, much theory. I mean, we have a calculator. Can't you just do that? Yeah, well, okay. Could do that maybe. Um, but let's do it the way we're supposed to do this. Okay, so first of all, the square root of 9.1 is, well, that's f of 9.1. Okay, now, the, the idea, the, the general principle of this is that f of x is approximately the linear approximation when x is near a. And that's the thing that I'm not doing here, is saying, well, how near? That's another topic that we'll do later, actually, but not today. Okay, so, so therefore, we're saying, well, I mean, 9.1, I guess, is close to 9. Maybe someone says it's not close enough, but anyway, f of 9.1, is close to not you know nine is sorry nine point one is close to nine is what I meant to say so f of nine point one is close to l of nine point one and then we have a formula more we could do more little tracks here from this formula we go down here and we put that in the formula and 
That seems like it's not that difficult. It's just that we have to know which pieces to put together. So where I saw X, I put in 9.1. And so I, therefore I get 3 plus 1, 6, 9.1 minus 9 is 0.1. So then there's always the question of, well, what should I do in terms of simplifying that and so forth? Um, you can write... You can write one six as a decimal, but it's a repeating decimal. In fact, I have memorized for whatever reason all these things in my head that I know that one six is point one six 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 going on forever. You can easily do a long division and see that's true. So we could write this as a decimal. You could keep it a fraction. I always like little fractions, but you could write this as one six is times. Uh, 3 plus 1 6 times 1 tenth. This point 1 is 1 tenth. So 3 plus 1 over 60. But since, okay, so this is saying that square root of 9, okay, so that's the linear approximation. I'm going to commit and say square root of 9.1 is approximately 3 and 1 over 60, writing a mixed number. Or I can write not square root of 9.1 is 3 uh, well maybe I should show more work okay 3 plus 1 over 60 this is 3 plus 1 6 is 0. 0.16 repeating so I'll write that as 0. 0.16 with a bar times 0. 0.1 so that is 3.016 with a bar Got to do the bar, really, if you want. If you want to do it right, I mean, why would I want to do it wrong? And well, I could. I mean, this is an approximation, so. But uh, okay. So, maybe it's not exactly right. This is approximation, but anyway, um, but I know that. One six is. Is. Point one six with the bar, bar over the six. Okay, so those are approximations, and then. If we felt like uh, knocking ourselves out, it's not part of the problem, but I could actually put this in a calculator, 9.1, take the square root, and I'm just using the calculator here that I have handy. So the actual value, so let's do like a remark. The square root of 9.1, according to the calculator, is 3.016620625799671. And then it keeps going. It's an irrational number, but I that's how many that was what was shown on the on the on the screen of the calculator. Okay, so what's our lesson is that we see that these agree uh up to, to this point, the approximation, and this agree. So let's just remind ourselves that this is 3.016664 infinitely sixes. So therefore, we see that the, you know, looking at this, this approxim the approximation agrees with the calculator up to the fourth decimal place, which is the 10,000th. And also, I want to point out that the way the calculator gets this number is they have some sort of algorithm that finds approximations that are, that work, uh, that are accurate up to a certain point, filling the screen. Okay, so that's our video on linear approximations. And, um, okay, thank you and goodbye.